Hello everyone, this is SSG, aka Sergeant Sentinel, and welcome to another XPN video game review. Today we're talking about Resident Evil Village. But before we continue, please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it with someone who may like it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new content, whether it's new game review videos or new episodes of our podcasts. Now, Resident Evil Village, technically Resident Evil 8, was developed and published by Capcom, and it launched on May 7th, 2021, for last and current generation PlayStation and Xbox consoles, for the Google Stadia, and for Microsoft Windows, and it launched for Mac OS and for the Nintendo Switch on October 28th, 2022. Resident Evil Village is it's the sequel to Resident Evil 7. It's a survival horror game and is also from a first-person perspective, just like Resident Evil 7 was. Now, taking control of Ethan Winters once again, the player is tasked with solving puzzles and using strategy to defeat difficult enemies, both supernatural bosses and werewolves, and using a combination of firearms and melee weapons. The player must fight through a variety of levels, with the odds almost always stacked against them, in an effort to find Rosemary... Ethan's infant daughter. The most well-known character in Resident Evil Village is Lady Dimitrescu due to a cult following of sorts developed before the game even launched. And of course you look at pictures of Lady Dimitrescu and you can see kind of why she has this cult following. While this game is a tremendously fun experience, it's nowhere near as terrifying as Resident Evil 7 due to it's noticeable lean more towards action segments. Now that's not to say the game isn't worth owning, it just doesn't feel as much like a Resident Evil game as titles that came before it in the franchise except for unique entries like Resident Evil 6 or Operation Raccoon City. Now obviously when I, t when I say that about Resident Evil 6, yes it's a numbered entry in the franchise, but it was a mess, and it was almost completely action, almost none of it was horror based. So if you've played Resident Evil 6, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Also in Resident Evil Village, there are no zombies present, only werewolves and vampires. And this is a noticeable departure from Resident Evil lore, and that's going to be disconcerting for franchise purists. Now if you haven't played Resident Evil Village, um, and you love Resident Evil, probably by this point in the review, you're kind of like, well, I don't know if I really want to check it out. I'm just not sure. Let me tell you that just because it doesn't necessarily lean on the Resident Evil roots, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. It tries to do its own thing. Yes, it leans more on things like vampires and werewolves, but, um, it excels as, as a game. The... The feeling of the setting, the overall theme, I guess, that is established in Resident Evil Village, it's successful at conveying um, a sense of dread. And again, yeah, it does lean on action, but it does have enough horror elements where you can really feel like Ethan's life is in peril. Now... My final thoughts about Resident Evil Village is that it's a great action horror game, like I just said, with more emphasis on the former than the latter, and it's a lot of fun to play through multiple times, but to be perfectly honest, it's just not on the same level as the original games in the Resident Evil franchise. Now again, that's not to say that it's not a fun game that you, that you don't want to check out, it's just you can't play the original Resident Evil games and expect Resident Evil Village to be the exact same level of horror and suspense because it's not going to be but again it is a game worth checking out and if you haven't played it yet it's definitely um, deserving of being on your must play list anyway that's it for this video thank you so much for checking it out I do greatly appreciate it if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button If you're not already subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe to our channel hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video 
We're uploading new game review videos all the time, and we have podcasts that are pretty much weekly on our channel. The PSN Party Podcast is on Wednesdays, and the uh, XBL Party Podcast is on Thursdays. So like I said, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we go live. Definitely drop into our podcast, check it out, and um, we appreciate your support. Until next time, this is Sergeant Sentinel. Take it easy, gamers.